Well, Newark's Seth Boyden Court Development was the first major federal low-income housing project built in the city after the Great Depression. The buildings have been vacant for several years now, and today the city started demolition to make way for a new development. News 12's Brian Donahue watched along with longtime residents for whom it was an emotional sight. Newark Mayor Ross Baraka mans the excavator as it takes the ceremonial first chunk out of the Seth Boyden Terrace housing project's demolition. Everything goes today for us, everything. <laughs> all the memories, all our loved ones that we lost down here. We lost a lot of ones down here. Myra Vasquez, born and raised here, she's moved onward and upward, but like the several dozen other former residents who came here today, Seth Boyden projects still a part of them. Good, good memories, bad memories. You know, it's all the experience. You know, we learn from it. So, you know, what I mean, it made us who we is today. Opened in 1941, the 530 apartment complex was one of the first of the massive federally financed public housing projects that would, in many ways, come to define this city, nicknamed Brick City because of them, in the second half of the 20th century. A few dozen former residents showed up to say goodbye to the place. One after another, describing a mix of heavy emotions. Happiness for the fond memories they had growing up here. We used to get quarter ices from her, her grandmother. Sadness for those whose lives were claimed or derailed by the drugs and violence that eventually took hold. The people was afraid to come here, but to us, this was, this was home, this was family. And lastly, gratitude for having outlasted the place itself, for having survived and been made stronger for having lived it. Always felt like a privileged project kid. It gave me my grind. Gave me my grind, definitely. Definitely. Doing very well for myself now. Doing very well for myself coming from here. Former mayor and U.S. Senator Cory Booker likes to say the term Brick City really reflects Newark's people. Strong, resilient, and enduring like the bricks themselves. Today, the politicians gathered to tout plans for a new housing and mixed use development here because we want to revitalize, repurpose, uh, transform this whole neighborhood. But as those who grew up here gathered a few bricks to take home as souvenirs, it became clear what they were here to commemorate, not just what these walls were or what will come next, but who they still are. If we are survivors, we, this is deep. I don't think y'all understand, man. Like, a lot of us, the way we live, we really wasn't supposed to make it this far because that's what they expect this type of atmosphere to do to people like us. But we made it. I'm Brian Donahue. That's Positively New Jersey.